Using manual gears in F123 adds a completely new level of complexity to racing in this year's F1 game. If you've never used manual gears before, it may seem pretty alien to have to change gears up to 100 times a lap, and it can be a little daunting. However, with our top tips on driving F123 with manual gears and a bit of practice, changing gears manually will become second nature. I'll even touch on some more advanced shifting techniques to really help you increase your pace and find extra lap time. So what are manual gears? Well, manual gears is the process of changing your gears manually while driving F123. It's the most realistic way of racing and it replicates the process that a real world Formula 1 driver goes through up to 100 times each lap. You can set the gears to be automatic in F123 and this will allow the game to handle gear shifts for you. This lets you focus more on driving the correct racing line and competing with other drivers without the added stress or complexity of manually changing up and down gears. This assist is great for newer players or casual racers, but if you're looking for a realistic experience, disabling it is the way to go. And to disable it in F123, all you have to do is head into the settings menu from either a mid-race pause or from the main screen, and then once you're there, head into the assist menu where you'll be able to see all the available driver assists that you can enable or disable. To change the gearbox assist to manual, simply scroll down until you find gearbox and then choose whichever option you're after. Now one of the real questions is that, are manual gears faster than automatic gears? Well, racing F123 with manual gears will almost always be faster than racing with automatic. Manual gears allow you to have full control over when you change up and down gears and you can even use that timing of each shift to increase your performance. For example, you can shift down faster than the automatic box would to help slow your car with engine braking, or you can short shift while accelerating to help reduce wheel spin. These are elements that are out of your control when you're using automatic gears. When you're racing in auto, the ability to time your own gear shifts is taken away from you. This means that gears will change based on the game's interpretation of when the best time is, which may not always be the optimal time to shift. When you first enable manual gears in F123, I'd highly recommend enabling it with the suggest suggested gear option. This will show on screen which gear you should be in for which corner and can kind of help you learn the correct gear to be in at any time. You can learn when to change gears by paying attention to your rev bar on your HUD or if you're racing with a racing wheel, you can see on your steering wheel the rev lights or potentially even the suggested time to shift gear. The rev lights will light up as you accelerate and when all of the lights are lit up and sometimes flashing, that is the perfect time to change up a gear. You'll also see on your in-game HUD a number next to your rev lights which is your current RPM readout. The ideal time to change gears in F123 is around 11.5 to 12,000 RPM. You can pay attention to this number and shift as it reaches this rev range. You can also listen to your engine and Learn the sounds to give you an audio cue as when to shift gear. The pitch of your engine will increase as your revs increase, and once they hit the rev limit they'll sound like they're bouncing. You should always shift gear before hitting the rev limiter as this will lose you time and can even damage your gearbox if you're racing in a career mode. Finally, you can enable an audio cue in the settings which will beep when you should change up a gear. Many real-world Formula 1 drivers actually use an audio cue just like this while racing, although this feature can be a little bit annoying as it will beep many many times each lap. But despite that, it can be very useful to learn when the ideal time to change gear is. Now downshifting is actually probably the harder part of learning to race with manual gears. While upshifting happens at a slower pace, downshifting on the approach to a corner happens much faster. You'll often need to downshift 4 or 5 times within a few seconds as you break into a corner. If you downshift too slowly, you'll be losing potential performance. If you downshift too fast, you can lock your gearbox which could cause your car to start spinning. Again, you can pay attention to the rev lights as you downshift. Instead of lighting up, they'll go out as you decelerate. Then once all of the rev lights have gone out, that's the ideal time to shift. However, this happens so so quickly that Looking at your rev bar while braking and potentially even turning into a corner can be very difficult. Instead, try to get into a rhythm while downshifting, and this will help it become second nature. 
Experiment with the timings of downshifts to really learn the ideal way to change gear while slowing down in F123. One top tip is that if you're decelerating from top gear, you'll initially have to downshift very quickly. So you might shift down from eighth to say fifth incredibly fast. And then as your car starts to slow further, your timing and gaps in between each downshift will increase. So you will shift from eighth to seventh to sixth to fifth very slowly. And then the gap to fourth will increase a little bit. The gap to third will increase a little bit. And then you might shift down to second as you hit the apex of the corner or just before, for example. But remember, all of this comes down to practice. So jump into a time trial session or a Grand Prix mode and just follow other cars around and just learn kind of when to downshift and how to downshift correctly. Now, the main advantage of actually changing your gears manually in F123 is that you can use the timing of gear changes to improve your performance and find additional lap time. These advanced shifting techniques should really be practiced once you feel comfortable with changing gears manually. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is short shifting. And this is the term given to changing gears earlier than the optimal rev range. This will dull the power of the engine and produce less ultimate power. However, it will also make accelerating from slower speeds much easier to do without spinning your wheels. Short shifting should be used in low grip scenarios such as in wet weather or when you're losing grip in your tires or even just when from accelerating from extremely low speeds. To short shift in F123, it's as simple as changing up a gear earlier than you really should. So before any rev lights have lit up, for example, or even when just the first few rev lights have lit up. Now, much like short shifting, you can also apply the opposite and shift gears later than normal or hold gears for longer. This is useful when approaching a corner where you'll need to downshift very soon. Rather than shifting up a gear just to then immediately shift down again, it can sometimes be better and faster to hold onto your gear and not actually change up. This technique is also useful when accelerating through a corner. When you change gear, you ever so slightly unsettle your car's balance. So if you're turning through a corner and you shift up a gear, you may unsettle the car enough to force it to lose a little bit of grip. Instead, holding onto the gear you're in until you're around the corner and your car's a little bit straighter can actually sometimes help maintain stability and balance. Now, engine braking is less of a technique and more something that your car just does automatically. When you release the throttle, you'll notice that your car starts to slow down automatically. This is due to engine braking and it's down to the rotation of the engine limiting how fast the rear wheels spin. This can be useful when trying to decelerate fast and when changing down gears, if you shift down slightly earlier than normal, you can force the engine to spin slower earlier. This will cause engine braking to force the car to decelerate at a faster rate and can actually reduce your braking distance. Now, as I mentioned earlier, learning to drive F123 with a manual transmission is an incredibly tricky thing to learn and master. It completely changes the number of things you have to process each lap while racing adding additional processes into the mix. However, using the tips that I've kind of laid out in this video, I hope that it will increase the rate at which you can progress from auto to manual gears. And in turn, this should help you become faster in F123. Let me know in the comments below if there are any suggestions you have for or anything that helped you when you transition from auto to manual that would help others. And please consider subscribing if you're liking these sort of how-to guide videos. But for now guys, I will see you on track.